population in Stafford County, Virginia? Should my governor be here next week in that seat making a similar petition? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm sure that if that community had to bear the consequences of 60 years of bombing, the consequences that that have been documented to cause to that community, I'm sure your governor would not be here next week. He would have been here much before that. And I'm sure that the same way that the senator from Hawaii objected to precisely the same bombing in one Hawaiian island, it was not objected by any other senator in this august body, you would be also assuming that position. I trained as a young Marine on that range. General, how long has that range been active? Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Jones. Stand and speak with a loud voice, please, sir. 40, sir, 1941 to be 1941. So it's been over. And, and the community doesn't want that uh, those exercises to go on. I'll address well, that community. You know, it's, it's a different. If the I'll, community, we, we are, for, for example, Senator, we are supporting all other base installations in Puerto Rico. Again, don't misconstrue the essence of this. This is specifically about the burden, disproportionate burden that has to be borne, and I'm not sure this community bears it. If, if they support it, well, I'm all for it. If the people of Vieques were supporting it, if they said uh, this is causing us no harm, you know, I wouldn't be here. What I'm saying is that you would also be here if that community were saying that this is causing irreparable damage to their own. All I can say is the people from that community marched in 1776 so we could sit here today and have this public hearing. So, Dr. Lieberman. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Governor, good morning, and uh, thanks for a very eloquent statement. Uh, I want to ask, uh, uh, although you, you've said your, your position on the question of bombing is unnegotiable, uh, is unnegotiable. How do you respond uh, to the various suggestions that have made here today that, that you and others sit with the uh, Pentagon and, and begin a negotiating process, presumably with the objective, at least as I hear it, as articulated by the Rush Commission, leave aside the question of time, to cease operations on Vieques? Are, are you open to entering uh, those uh, kinds of discussions? Certainly, uh Senator, we, we're open, but that precludes any bombing while we're discussing this. Understood. Just a very quick follow-up question. I thought you presented, um, you know, very provocative testimony regarding the uh, concerns about public health effects uh, and environmental effects. The, uh, and uh, archaeological have been mentioned as well. The uh, Rush Commission does call, as, as Senator Robb has indicated, and he's been actively interested in this, for a report on the, uh, on, on the, on the questions of the incidence of cancer and other health concerns. Um, what's the state of the data up until now on that question? Who, who, who's been uh, studying that, and what's the basis of the testimony that you gave this the, morning? The data that we have is uh, demographic data based on the incidence of cancer throughout Puerto Rico. We have a cancer registry, and we have uh, study groups from the University of Puerto Rico that have uh, documented that there's an increased incidence. This is uh, in no way, I admit, a causal relationship type of study. It's just a demographic study. It says that, indeed, it is true that there's an increased incidence of Cancer in Vieques doesn't say what the cause is, and that would be the subject of further so study. It raises the question. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Thank you, Governor. But I think you raised a very important uh, point, Senator Lieberman. In other words, if some negotiations take place which can resolve this, then live use of ordinance on Vieques could resume after those negotiations are completed. No. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>